Now here's a bonus video. Let's say you're wanting to draw uh, your pen yourself. So or the first thing I would do is you're going to pull up a hard circle round brush. You're going to want to make sure that the spacing between it is as small as it can be. So here I'm going to change the spacing to 1%. Um, you are going to decide on the size. I'm using 10 and then you're going to decide what kind of pen you want or what you're going to be drawing. I'm sure you have some idea. I'm going to be drawing, a, well, you'll see what I'm drawing. It's kind of a joke between my sister and I and I'll explain in a little bit. So I'm just making this drawing on a, a clean little layer. Just like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect by any means, you know. So I'm sure you can tell what this is by now. <laughs> Yes, it's a pile of poop. My sister told me um, that she always thought that emoji was chocolate ice cream. <laughs> anyway, I always get tickled when I think about it. Um, I'm going to give him some eyes and a mouth. I'm going to make a layer above it, and I'm going to decrease the size of my brush to maybe five pixels. I'm going to zoom in a bit. That way I have a little more, um, I guess, control is the best way to do it. So she's going to have little, there's one eye and here's going to be another eye. And what I'm going to do with this, I'll be filling those in and then we're just going to give them a little silly smiley face. <laughs> it looks a little scary, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Um, if I wanted to go even further, I could draw like a little uh, fly on it or something, <laughs> like right here. Very abstract. But I do want this part to be open enough that I could change the color. So here's our little fly. Okay. Um, because that's in its own layer, I can move them because I don't want it to overlap the um, the outline of the poo. There we go. It's almost like a little bow. How sweet. All right. Um, so next up, now that I have everything placed where I want it, I'm going to merge these layers together. So here's my drawing. This is going to be my wire outline. I drew it by hand. I'm going to take my selection tool, much uh, like the other tutorial. So I'm just selecting these areas. I'm going to select, modify, expand by one pixel, maybe, just in case. Maybe two. Let's see. It's two doable. No, we definitely. Um, whenever you do this, you want to just kind of look at the areas. Like I can see right here that this part didn't get, it was not chosen. So when I create my new layer and I flood fill this in and it's going to be pink because why not? Um, I'm just going to make sure I take out my brush tool and just color that bit in. There's a little spot right up there. You know, just look and, and see. Here's one here on the little edge. It's typically any kind of sharp corner edge is where your selection tool isn't going to pick up as nicely. Um, but you see here how this area is kind of its own. We just want to double check. I'm going to start flood filling this in with different colors. Let's see if it takes a whole thing. I had a feeling it was going to do that. It's because these are so close to one another. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take a layer above it, control alt G, control G to clip that in. And then I'm just going to paint it with a paintbrush tool. Just paint it in like that because I have the layer clipped to it. It's not going to um, go all over the place. So it keeps it nice and tidy. So just like that. So there's, he has the little eyes and then um, this part here, let's go with white and I'm going to add one more little detail to it. So just like that. And let's go ahead and um, I'm going to add a little dot for his, uh, like the pupil. So here we go. So I'm just going to show you guys how one would be doing this from scratch. So we're going to crazy pupils. Looks a little weird because the one eyes are in the other one. I kind of love it. Uh, I'm weird. All right, we're going to make that secondary pupil a little smaller so there's a little more white. Um, so seven. A little boop. It's a crazy poo. I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry for giggling. So. 
much through this. All right, so um, now I'm just going to apply the metal rim style to the outline. And I'm gonna find that style here. This is metal rim. Boop. And then apply one of the enamel backgrounds to this part. See, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah so there we have it we have a little a little poo a little poo guy uh i kind of like i know this is not the best element i've ever made ever but you know what this strange part of me really loves it <laughs> so uh, i would use the action to um give it depth i'm going to show you what that action actually does if you're having a hard time with it. So basically I have this layer here. There's a trick in Photoshop. I'm not sure how it works in Elements where you hold Control and Alt, and then you use your up and down and arrow keys to nudge it along. Now you're gonna wanna zoom in as far as you can. So we have our first layer here, Control, Alt, and um, also have your Move tool selected. You now like the little crisscross there. Now if I do down, you'll see that it just made a copy of this layer down. So um, I'm going to pull him underneath. We still have this guy up above. Now I'm just going to do this really fast. Control, Alt, and then I'm going to do, I did down before, so to the side, whichever side you want, downside, 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 just like that. Um, and that's what it does. Now it doesn't look like much, but then whenever you um, color it in, then you have this. So there's that, and then there's this, and then you would apply the um, thicker, it's like it's called the depth style, like that, and see there it adds like this sort of depth to it, and, and there's my little very strange pink poo with the fly pin. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope this has been somewhat helpful. So if you're drawing it by hand, you don't need to run any of the stroke actions or use the stroke um, styles because you your drawing is the outline. So uh, there you go. I hope this has been helpful and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.